Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to create a pick a part that disappears once it's touched. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is add a part and I'm going to add a sphere right over here. And let's go ahead and rename this part. We're going to rename it to pick a part. And then we're going to go ahead and add a script like so. And then we're going to go ahead and delete that default message there. And now we're going to add our code with our usual pattern of when the humanoid touches the part. So we'll say local function on part touched. And we'll say local part parent equal other part uh, parent. And then we'll say local humanoid equal part parent. And we'll say find first child, which is a humanoid. And then again, our usual pattern here is if humanoid, then, and this time around, we're going to add something a little different. So we're going to say local, we're going to say part dot transparency from our local part, transparency, and we're going to set that equal to one. Okay, now we have to connect our parts and our functions. We'll say on part touched, connect on part touched. All right, so let's just go ahead and test this out. We're not quite done just yet, but it is good programming practice to always kind of test out your code along the way. And now notice here, when I touched the ball, it disappeared. And so let's make it reappear after a period of time. So in other words, it's kind of making this idea of a pickup part. All right, now some other code to add here is we're going to say can collide equal false. Okay, and we're also going to make it come back after a period of time. So it's kind of like you pick up a part, it's going to disappear. And with this code here, we're going to make it come back after about two seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out here. So again, I'm going to touch our part. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Let's see if it'll come back here. Question is, did it come back? It did not seem to come back. So I'm wondering where did our ball go? It's not really clear where it went. All right, let's stop the uh, code here. So we are missing some things and I'm wondering if our ball may have just kind of ran away without us knowing because we did forget one important part here. We did forget to anchor our part. Okay, so let's try this. So perhaps our ball kind of like ran off without us and it just kind of rolled and rolled and we never actually ever saw it again. Okay, so. Now this is interesting. Again, after two seconds, it came back. And again, notice I was able to run right through it. Okay, so a couple of important things here. If you don't have the part collide, notice what happens here. When you try to run through your sphere, you actually get stuck here. So I'm actually pressing the uh, W and WASD and I actually can't go forward. and. Again, that's because I had the collision and I had that by default, it's 
true. So it means you can't collide, but then you get stuck. Now, the other important part here was the anchoring. So if you don't anchor the part, the ball will just kind of roll away. And that is not necessarily something that you want. So do be aware that by default, parts are not anchored in Roblox. So again, here, this is what we had, we're kind of going for here with our pickup part. And the way it works again is that once the part is touched, it's as if you picked it up in a sense, and then it reappears after about two seconds, according to what we programmed inside of our script. All right, I hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.